Hello everyone. Today our topic of discussion is differential diagnosis of epigastric pain. So let's start. So any patient presenting with epigastric pain to the ER always rule out inferior wall MI because that can be the only presentation of inferior wall MI. It can cause epigastric pain. So always get an EKG and check troponin. Number two is Esophagitis. Acid reflux is the most common cause of esophagitis, which causes retrosternal burning epigastric pain, which is relieved by antacid. Workup wise, you can consider barium swallow, you can do EGD and pH monitoring. Barium swallow, EGD, pH monitoring. Third is Gastritis. Gastritis can cause epigastric pain after meals and patient can have mild tenderness on palpation. In terms of workup, we can consider EGD if it is chronic, not improving with medication to confirm the diagnosis. Fourth is peptic ulcer disease. So patient can have duodenal or gastric ulcer. Duodenal or gastric ulcer. So pain of the duodenal ulcer mostly occurs at night. It's called nocturnal pain. And pain of the gastric ulcer happen mostly after eating. So it has relationship with meal. In terms of workup, EGD should be considered to confirm the diagnosis. Every gastric ulcer should be biopsied. Fifth is acute and chronic Pancreatitis. Pancreatitis can cause pain in the epigastric region radiating towards the back and associated with nausea and vomiting. Workup wise, check pancreatic enzyme, check lipase, do imaging. Sixth is acute cholecystitis. It's caused by inflammation of the gallbladder, pain in the right upper quadrant, which radiates towards the right scapula and tip of the right shoulder. Murphy sign can be positive on exam. Workup wise, do the basic workup CBC, which can show elevated white cells, imaging. And if imaging is inconclusive, then you can get IDA scan. Seventh is hepatitis. Hepatitis can present with jaundice and tender hepatomegaly, and it can cause epigastric pain. Workup wise, you can do LFTs, head panel, ultrasound, liver, gallbladder, and pancreas, hepatitis. Eighth is basal pleurisy, pain. Patient will complain of pain aggravated by coughing and breathing. Pleural rub may be present, and if you do the chest x ray, it can show consolidation. Ninth is CA stomach. It can cause epigastric pain or feeling of distension after meal, loss of appetite, nausea after eating, early satiety, weight loss. Workup wise, you can do CBC, which can show anemia. EGD with biopsy should be considered. Last is CA pancreas. It can cause epigastric pain, which radiate towards the back. It can cause Weight loss, it can cause jaundice. Workup wise, consider LFTs. Ultrasound abdomen, consider CT abdomen, MRCP, endoscopic ultrasound with biopsy can also be considered. So this is a differential diagnosis of epigastric pain. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.